here we are. It's a beautiful summer day on Thunder Ridge Homestead. Summertime comes with the good things like these beautiful flowers. It also comes with bad things like predators. And I'm going to show you what we caught last night. Everybody likes a chicken dinner. And that is a true statement. Um, when you have things like these nice fat hens, you've got something that wants to eat them. Um, we had lost several chickens in the last few days. Um, some of them were juveniles that weren't going to bed in the coops like they're supposed to. And they were getting picked off one by one at night. And then we had two different occasions where something got into one of our pens. At one point it was into a broody pen and another time it was into a juvenile pen and killed a whole bunch of our babies. And we've lost five juveniles and like 14 um, baby chicks. And this, I believe, might be your culprit. This is a juvenile raccoon. This is actually the second one we've caught. And, like I say, everybody loves a chicken dinner. I put this cage up against the doorway of a... You can hear him, he's not very pleased. Up against the doorway of a chicken coop and left the chicken coop door open. And I had one old hen inside, who, by the way, is perfectly safe. Because he came right in the door and right in the cage. And like I said, this is twice now. And this is a, like I said, a juvenile coon. Everybody thinks raccoons are so cute and adorable and sweet and cuddly. Aww, isn't he adorable? Now, I want to tell you I have more respect for raccoons than most people because when I was a young child we used to have a wild animal permit and we used to actually rehabilitate little baby raccoons that were abandoned and we would bottle feed them and then get them ready for re-release in uh, more secluded areas farther away from humanity and um, a lot of times their mothers were road kills when we would get them and so I've bottle fed and raised about 15 raccoons in my lifetime and released them into the wild um, I also had a coon about this size when I was about mm, probably 13 years old uh, one that I had bottle fed that was I would consider a pet that had gotten out of the cage was not ready to be released yet and I tried to capture it again calmly like I knew how to do with talent and skill and heavy gloves on and it mauled my left arm and I to this day I'm now 53 and I still carry scars so just because they're little and fuzzy and have those little cute blinky eyes those little bandit mask do not think for a minute that that thing will not literally rip your arm off because he will so don't even play with raccoons um, this raccoon is like I said it's a juvenile it's healthy we don't have any issues with it so we are not going to dispatch it where we live we have access to wilderness areas that are attached to large rivers that go into eventually the Missouri River and he will be released into one of those riverbed areas where he's got wild trees, plenty of water, and plenty of food available for him or her. I didn't look to see if this was a male or female yet. Ready? Yeah. 